Hey tribe, what is the vibe? Welcome back to As I Am Tarot. I'm Kay and I'm here to do another reading for the collective. Holy Spirit, I ask that you give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Okay, so let me clear the energies real quick and then we get started. Sorry if it's loud, guys. Okay. So, we're going to start off with some tea leaf cards today. Okay, we're going to do things a little differently. Let me get... Ooh! Okay. 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 I wasn't trying to get that many, but I'll take it. We have bag. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. Angel. Spiritual guidance. Protection from harm. So, you have... A guardian angel around you. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. We have spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. But we have wealth. Okay? You have wealth coming. Period. Kangaroo. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Okay, Stella. <laughs> Go on and get your groove back. We have boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Okay, come on now. And we have pineapple, reconciliation, cat, a two faced friend. Well, well, damn. Okay. All right, next I'm going to go into the Love Angel Oracle deck, okay, and see what we can get. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So you could be going out with a friend to have like coffee or something. Okay, I feel like you you need this, like, you need this, okay? I feel like you've probably been in your head. Yeah, healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Yeah, okay? So some of you could be coming out of this fog, all right? You may have met some new people lately. And it's like, I feel like you're, you're being revived. I feel like whatever you may have been dealing with in the past kind of had you feeling like really doldrum, really, you know... Mm. Like in a rut. Okay. But now you're going out. You're outside, outside, okay? <laughs> you outside. You about to have a whole spiritual girl summer or spiritual um boy summer, okay? Anything else? The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out, things come into light, adapt, change, heal. So yeah, I feel like you're just focusing on your healing right now. Let me get one more. And soulmates, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So some of you could be very well meeting someone, okay, someone new. Actually, let me get four more. I don't think I'm going to do the white cards today. Ooh, that's too much. That's way too much. Way, 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 way too much. 
And none of them turned over, so I'm not going to take any. Um, yeah. <laughs> Some of you may have met someone that's younger, okay? And I feel like you might have some kind of um, soul connection with this person, okay? Heart with a key, welcoming love, see, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. I feel like this person is going to balance you out. You have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Period. Okie dokie, artichoke. Let me get two more. Yeah, I really feel like this um, this younger guy or younger woman, I guess, take it how it resonates. This person just, I don't know. I feel like you like talking to this person. I feel like, you know, I don't feel like there's any, um, like, you know, intimate things being talked about. I just feel like. You have, um, like, a comfort with this person. This person has a, a way of making you feel comforted, okay, when you talk to them. Let me get some more. Can I get some more, please? Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Because, okay, they're like, mm-mm, you good. Okay. So, let's get into tarot. I would like to, yep. <laughs> Reconnecting with the Six of Cups, I feel like if, um, this could be someone that you have known, and which is why this reconciliation card came out, okay? Um, this could have been someone that you have known in your past, maybe a past life connection. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Or this could be someone who you grew up with that may have gone on and lived their life and you lived yours and now they're back. Okay. What else? We have the Seven of Cups with the Judgment in Reverse. Hmm. So I feel like whoever it is that I'm picking up on here is not the same person that that is up here. This this soul contract, this partnership person, I don't feel like this is the same energy. I feel like this person, hmm. yeah, this person could be going through some kind of conflict. This could be your past person, okay? That's one thing to come in, but that's like wishful thinking, okay? <laughs> because this person, has like a shadow side and I feel like they're not trying to do the work on themselves to change and I feel like for some of you this could be why this um heartache over what you no longer have came out we have the hangman so this person is stuck, okay? I feel like we have the temperance at the bottom. You could be an earth angel, all right? And this person is trying to balance out um, the energies between the two of you. 
because they don't know how I feel like this person is could be possibly waiting also. Okay. Let's see. We have the two of swords. So I feel like, yeah, this person is stuck. <laughs> This person is stuck. They don't know what to do right now. Okay. This this person is like, I feel like this person is trying to make a choice between light and dark within themselves and maybe within you and another person. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of secrets here that this person has. I feel like this person is, yeah, we have the nine of wands. Then this wounded warrior energy, okay? Um, I feel like this person is, they are the, um, they are the own, they are the reason that they're in whatever it is they're in because they refuse to take off this blindfold and see what things are for what it is, okay? Yeah, they're in the nine of wands energy. And you're in seven of wands energy, okay? So it's like, I feel like this person is missing you. And I feel like, I almost feel like this person is getting weak, okay? Because they don't have access to your energy. It's like, if you have seen this person after a long time of not seeing them, they probably look very different to you. They probably look shriveled up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just picturing Little Mermaid. And those little things at the bottom of um, Ursula's, um, you know, when she stole the souls of those people. But it's like this person can't get your light energy. So, you know, they're getting weak. That's just probably why they're trying to reconnect. Okay. But that's wishful thinking. <laughs> that is wishful thinking. <clears throat> This person doesn't do anything but make bad choices, okay? And then when they finish making the bad choices, they be stuck because it's bad choices and they keep making bad choices. Yeah, like I said, you in the seven of wands. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> You're not trying to hear nothing, okay? I feel like... You could be focusing on this new person. Yep. You could be focusing on this new person and offering this person some kind of romantic beginning, okay? I feel like this person is sensitive and spiritual as well. And I feel like you guys, you know, you guys, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you could talk to this person easily, but... Yeah, I feel like you're definitely wanting to make an offer to this person. Or you're wanting them to make an offer to you. <laughs> yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? I feel like this person is the last... Um, the last thing that you need as far as the fact that you already have a lot of things going for yourself, okay? But I feel like this person, whoever this person is, um, they're going to be supportive in whatever you do, and there's going to be a lot of harmony within the dynamic that you guys have, okay? Yeah. See, and we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? <laughs> I feel like you have just realized that you might... You may have just realized that you have, um, you might have emotions for this person, okay? Or this is how they feel about you. But it's definitely something that's um, bubbling in your heart for someone that's new, okay? This is a new person. That's the energy I'm picking up on. I feel like, mm, you feel like you get like a high, from being around this person, this younger man, 
Okay, Stella. <laughs> Listen, I ain't judging. Trust and believe. I am not judging. Okay. Yeah. Could be dealing with a Leo. We have the strength card. Yeah, I feel like this person that um this this younger individual let's just say that because you know i feel like you guys are oh we have the um the magician i feel like you guys are <sighs> some of you could be a healer This person could probably have like a wild side, okay? <laughs> and you know how to quell that side of them. You know how to bring it in, rein it in, okay? <laughs> With the magician here. Um, yeah, you know how to use your tools. You have this charisma to you, okay? I feel like you just have a bunch of talents within you you you're skilled okay you you have the the sword the cup the wand and the pentacle at your disposal okay you have everything that you need to manifest whatever it is that you want okay i feel like You might be trying to manifest a relationship with this person. Okay. It's almost like you don't want to come on to this person. You don't you may not want to you may not want to be the one to say, like, you know. <laughs> Do we go together? Yes or no? You wanna go with me? Yes or no? <laughs> Check the box. <laughs> so I feel like you wanting to manifest this person into your life because of how they make you feel. I feel like it's um, organic, okay? It is not forced, okay? And I feel like this person is compatible with you. I'm just picking that up, okay? Yeah, we have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you or this person could look at the other as wish fulfillment. Um, for some of you, this could also be that past person, okay? That's trying to come in here and make an offer to you because... You know, they feel that you might have some kind of tangible abundance coming in, okay? I feel like this person sees you building something and they want to be a part of it. I feel like they had, they're trying to have the courage. This is another storyline, guys, okay? I feel like they're trying to have the courage to, um, to come in because... To come in towards you, right? Because... I feel like this person, they might not know how to approach you, so they're just trying to manifest you, okay? It's like, okay, I don't know what to say to this person. I just know this person is everything that I want, and I just want to get, I just want to get with them. I just want to, you know, I just want to work with them in whatever way, Okay. I feel like this person wants to, um, this person could, could also want to communicate with you, okay? For some of you, this person is drinking a lot, but I feel like this person did put you in a third party situation. Yeah, this is definitely your past person's energy invading the reading, okay? Because, like, can you live? <laughs> 
Like, can you live? Like, these readings have been nothing but this daggone person. And now we get some good news about a younger man, okay? And here, here this one come. Just, ugh. Okay. What else? Yeah. <sighs> Three pentacles. Okay. Like I said, this person wanted to work with you. They wanted to cooperate with you and collaborate with you. They just want to be around you. Okay. Break bread. I'm hearing. Yeah. But there was a tower moment, okay? There was a tower moment. And something happened. Clarify this tower card. Clarify the tower, please. Well, dang. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. This is that person. This person... I feel like this person, oh boy, and we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, the, I feel like this person is a low vibrational emperor, okay? I feel like this person could very well have the, the potential and the capacity and the wherewithal to actually be an emperor. But like I said, I feel like this person is fighting between light and dark energies. And I feel like they've been living in the dark energies for so long that they don't know how to pull themselves up out of that. Okay? But it's almost like they expect you with all your empress energy to grovel and 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 um simmer in the low life pool. Okay? I feel like this person is controlling. And I feel like when this person doesn't get what they want, they 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 make sure they hurt you, okay? Hmm. Mm -mm. What else? <sighs> yeah. But you're not um you're not here for none of that. You're going to get justice, okay? Because you get, are you getting justice or this person is getting karma, all right? Yeah. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, Spirit said, that's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> Y'all remember Michael Jackson's doctor? <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm-mm. Yeah, I feel like this person is dealing with some karma right now. And that's why they're trying to come back in and reconnect. Because I feel like <clears throat> when this person was with you, yeah, <laughs> come on out. When this person was with you, I feel like you brought blessings to this person's life, okay? And I feel like you told this person that things were going to change once they once you left them alone. I feel like this person didn't believe you because I feel like, like I said... This person is so arrogant that they just feel like you be just bullshitting. Like, I feel like this person thinks that you say things just to say them when you be saying shit for real. Okay. Yeah. Boy, I tell you. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we practice to deceive. Okay. Now this person wants a ton of cups with you. Mm. Yeah, um, I'm going to go with, you know, but you guys know that. What else? The Queen of Wands and the Star. Okay, so I feel like this person knows that <laughs> anything that you touch turns to gold. Okay, I feel like 
this person sees you as their wish fulfillment in many ways. And you also may have like a healing effect to your energy. I feel like people just like to be around you, even if it's not in um, a relationship. I feel like even your friends, they love when you're around. I feel like they just love your energy. Okay. But you definitely walked away from this person. And I feel like this person is, um, is, is not coping well with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You put an end to the situation. You put an end to it, and, they, and they're trying to bring it back. And Spirit said, that is the truth, once again. Okay? I feel like you're trying to move on to better things in your life. Yeah. You're the queen of cups. So, you know, you're compassionate. You're sensitive. You're warm. People, like I said, love to be around you. Okay? Okay? Huh. I feel like you were very loving to this person. You like... And, and these... this. Yeah, this person knows how you treated them. And I feel like this person is feeling like shit because, yeah, they don't want you to go give that love to anybody else. And I feel like that's why they're invading this reading right now because, damn, can we talk about the younger men? Like, like... <laughs> Goodness, like, come on now. This person is in regret about spilling out all these emotions that you had for them. They did, they, did, they, they did not give a damn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you ghosted this person, and you walked away. You could have blocked them. You could have done something spontaneously that they probably weren't expecting, like changing your locks or something like that, okay? Because I feel like if you didn't do it that way, it would have been harder. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You're focused on your new beginnings. I feel like um, some of you are probably thinking about taking a risk with this younger man, okay? Excuse me, spiritual confirmation. Belch. <laughs> the devil in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. So I feel like, yeah, you definitely let this person go. I feel like for some of you, it was like almost like an addiction that you had to this person. It was like, like I said, this person has the potential to be an emperor. I feel like this person is actually a divine masculine, but in low vibrational energy. And I feel like that's why you probably waited around because you probably sensed that. If you're an empress, you definitely did, okay? And I feel like you got to a point like where you was like, you know what? You know what? I'm basically just wasting my life away waiting for you while you out here. Um, what's the word? Prophylactin? fornicating <laughs> with everybody so guess what i'm out okay so i feel like you took your um energy back and you let it go okay i feel like for some of you this person is also very um focused on things and money and materialistic things okay You guys know that I don't ask for donations, but I do ask that you donate energetically. If anything in the um, message resonates with you, by hitting the subscribe button. Yeah. We have the Princess of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> I feel like this person, 
I feel like they they never finish what they start, okay? For some of you, this could also be the person that they broke your heart with, all right? And this person is like, this person could be like a, a hot-headed mess, okay? And I feel like this person is wanting to leave that that person out in the cold to return to you. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We have the nine of pentacles with the chariot. So they see you over here in all your independence glory. And now they're trying to rush towards you to have a victory with you. And, uh, um, hmm. I don't think so. But, you know, to each his own. Okay. Yeah. I'm tired of talking about this person. You guys already know what to do. Don't let this person sidetrack you from what you have going. If you like this younger man or whoever it is that is that has your attention, focus on that person because somebody is two-faced, okay? And I feel like they only come in because they know you have money or or a windfall coming, okay? They see that you have wealth coming, okay? Okay, and I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Later.